School segment. This week, we're at Topsdale High School for a look at their award-winning electric car program. Fox 26's Claire Hoffman at the Pender County School joined this morning, all morning long by students and their instructors to show us more. Claire, good morning. Hey, Bob, good morning. Well, here we are back again in the garage at Topsdale High School. A lot of activity going on because this class actually starts at 7.15 every day. It happens before the rest of the kids come to school. So the kids are in here on their own time, extra early, getting their hands dirty, and getting to work on these electric cars. And it's really cool because hopefully one day this will be how all cars are. No need to worry about gas anymore. So you just stop by and fill up your battery, basically. So with me now is Joe Graves, and he is a senior here. And Joe, tell us a little bit about this car that we're in right now. What we have here is the uh, MR2, and basically it runs off of a 150-volt system. 156, I'm sorry. It has 13 uh, six volt batteries in it. There's some in the front under the hood where we've taken out the, um, uh, it was trunk space when we put batteries in there. Mm -hmm. And we have some batteries back there in the other trunk and uh, next to this corner we have the motor. And um, what we have here, um, you've already been over the kill switch and um, gears. What we didn't show you was um, the cycle analyst here. Mm -hmm. And that's the new uh, system that we put in. Basically what it does, it monitors the pack voltage um, distance, amp hours, and um, we've integrated the cycle into it, into our um, cruise control right here. So you can push the button and it'll cycle through kilowatt hours, watt hours, um, range, uh, amp max and amp minimum. And it cycles through pretty much everything that needs to go on the battery. That's pretty cool, and I know you guys have a competition coming up May 22nd. They've been working really hard. Uh, this car is going to be one of them going there, and there's a yellow truck right there. We'll show you coming up later on this morning. So good luck to you guys, and I'm sure they'll do well as they have in previous competitions. Bob, back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Claire. Over to Colin right now to find out our program that is award-winning. And let's go to Claire Hoffman with more details on that. Claire, good morning. Hey, Bob, good morning. Well, we've been waiting all morning for this, and now I am lucky enough to be in the company of the only girl in the class. With me right now is Miss Alexis. Good morning, Alexis. Good morning, Claire. Now, I've got to ask you, because, you know, after, you know, being with your classmates all morning long, how do you deal with these goofballs? I mean, they are a crazy group of guys. Um, I kind of just flow with them. You don't really say anything. You listen and you laugh. <laughs> All right. Well, talk a little bit about this car that we're in right now. I know this is one of the vehicles you guys are taking to that competition in May. Yeah. So talk a little bit about the work you've been doing on it. Um, right now we're about to take out all the lead acid batteries and change them to the lithium. And that process will begin right after the show. Awesome. Okay. Well, why don't we go ahead and do a little test drive because we all know that girls are better drivers than guys. We just have a bad rap but we're going to prove them wrong right now. Okay. All right, here we go. Bye, guys. Here we go. Woo! Bye! Claire and Alexis riding off into the sunset up there at Thompson High School with the program, award-winning program, that is.